Hey everyone, this is Jen, and I had promised that I would make a quick video or give instructions on how I make my roasted butternut squash soup, which is vegan, so non-dairy, no creams or milk or anything in this. It is literally five simple ingredients, and um, I wanted to share that with you. Now, I forgot to start this video, and I'm halfway through the process, so let me just explain where I began. In this um, baking dish here, I took a large butternut squash, so a squash that really took up the whole entire space of this glass dish, dish and I cut it in half, and you take out the seeds, because there'll be a little bit of seeds like in the head of it. Um, you scoop those out, and then I took a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, and then um, I drizzle that along top of it, and then I add these seasonings. I add a um, little bit of actually quite a bit of ground cinnamon. That really brings out the flavor. Um, a little sprinkle of nutmeg, a little sprinkle of cumin, and a little sprinkle of garlic powder. And then once you get that seasoned, you put it in your oven at 350 degrees until it's fork tender. So it usually takes about 45 minutes and you can just test it by poking with your fork and if it's really easy to get your fork in, then it's cooked. You really want it cooked um, super mushy. In the meantime, in a large pasta or soup dish, you want to um, start breaking down and cooking some onions and um, a green apple. So a whole green apple, you want to skin it, take the skin off, and then dice it all up as much as you can get out of that into small little pieces. And then a large onion, you want to chop that all up into pieces. And then in here, you just, you know, put it on and you start sauteing with a little bit of olive oil, or if you want to use a little bit of real butter, or if you want to use coconut oil, anything really, but just you want to saute it up so it gets, you know, the apples and the um, onions start cooking and breaking down. Once that's done, you set that aside and you wait for your butternut squash to be done. When your butternut squash is done, then you can just go ahead, let it cool down. It's going to be really hot. But then what I do is I take my peeler and I just peel off the skin. The skin is what's on the outside. Most of mine's in the garbage already, but it comes off very, very easily. And you just want to skin it. When you get it skinned, you just chop it up and throw it in your pot. And then you take you know, a spatula and you just wanna kinda break it down so it's not large chunks. All right, so that's where I'm at. And then you kinda can mush everything together. Um, you can mush the onions and the apples and everything. And, and meanwhile, you could also add a little bit more of the spices to the apples and onions. I forgot to mention that too, and I use the, only these four spices. So that's all I really use. Okay, the next step, this is where I'm gonna turn back on my oven my burner here to about um, you know six seven medium degree temperature and I'm going to take some vegetable stock I like to get organic if you can find that in your store which is usually pretty available and um, you go ahead and you dump that all in I use the whole entire box and you're gonna see it's gonna cover everything that you have in there basically okay so once you have your um you know your liquids in here you can even add a little bit of water if you want to make it even thicker but usually this turns out nice you don't want to have it too loose or it won't be won't get that creamy effect when you're done so now i just let that come up to a boil you know again it's you're, you're gonna have it on like a six seven um and let it come up to a boil and you're going to let that boil for about 10, you know, 15 minutes of like simmering, boiling. Um, and even when you turn it down to low, see I, over here I have some beef stew going. Woo! Can't see that because it just fogged up the camera. But I have some beef stew in that pot going. Um, okay, so when you're done with that, what I like to use is this hand blender. And I'll just show you this real quick. You guys have probably all seen one of these. But this is... Um, basically a tool instead of putting it in my big blender I just use my hand blender I attach this on this was super cheap I got it at um, the store Hamilton Beach you know it's a cheap brand but it works really well it's like 20 bucks and then you know I go ahead and I blend it that way and that's what makes it all 
creamy. This comes out to be a very creamy consistency. It will not have any chunks in there and you will not be able to tell that there's even onion in there. So if people are worried about texture or whatnot, you don't even have to worry about that because literally by the time you blend this, it's going to be like a creamy soup. So you can tell it's gonna start bo boiling now. So that's it. If you have any other questions, let me know, but you should get a good six servings out of this for a cup of, su cup of soup. And I even like to eat it for breakfast. Uh, my husband takes it for lunch and it, it's great anytime. So let me know if you give it a try and enjoy. Bye. And just a quick look at the final soup. You can tell it's, it's a nice consistency now. So I'm just packaging it up and wanted to give you a quick peek. See, no chunks, <laughs> looks good. Be yummy for tomorrow. Have a great day, guys. Bye.